going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're switching it up a little bit. We are making pancakes. And these pancakes, I promise, have been upgraded massively. And not just any pancakes, protein pancakes. I'll put the macros on the screen whilst I'm doing them. But for the time being, I've got a little message I want to show you now. Yes guys, welcome back to Action Makes More. I hope we're all doing sick. I apologise for taking you away from the amazing pancakes that I'm about to make. But just want to talk a little bit about the channel here at Action Makes More. The aim is to help you guys all level up your life through personal growth, fitness advice, and passion seeking. If you're there around here, smash the subscribe button because I upload two new videos every single week and you do not want to miss them because they are sick in my eyes anyway. For any of you that are actually returning subscribers, this is going to be the new office, also known as my bedroom. I'm Currently, it's currently undergoing construction, but you know, we'll, we'll make deal with what we've got for the time being. I'm actually recording this after I've eaten the pancakes. I've fasted for like 16 hours, so they got nailed. With that all being said, guys, without further ado, let's get into the pancakes. Now we've got that done, follow me. Bank, welcome to the kitchen. This is chocolate caramel pure whey protein powder. If you want to go buy it yourself, check out the link below. The same goes for the zero calorie syrup. But basically, these are the ingredients. I'm gonna do a little whip up in three, two, one, boom. Oh wait, hold on, I didn't. Three, two, one, boom. I don't know how I do it, but I do, you know, it's just one of them things. Not to mention, I also, I put like a little bit of almond milk in there. You can use water as well, it doesn't really matter. And I also break this up and pull it into the pancakes as well. So, without further ado, let's get a time lapse on we go. Just look at it. That is what you call protein pancakes. Macros on screen there. By the way, just so everyone is aware, at the moment it is like 1 p.m. I've been fasting now since about nine last night, so I'm pretty pretty hungry. I won't lie. I'm gonna scram this, and then we're gonna get into the haircut. Yes guys, so uh, welcome to the haircut part of the video I'm sure you've all been waiting for to be fair. So I decided to cut my own hair, obviously. It was getting way too long, I don't usually like that It's a bit nice short-ish on the sides and reasonably long on the top. Obviously I know it was a risky thing to do. Let me know if any of you guys have cut your hair during quarantine. I'd love to know myself, but I thought it's one of them, kind of put it all online sort of thing. I can take the risk and cut my hair, or I could just leave it, but I decided why the hell not, I might as well go for it because hair does always grow back. Obviously, I did not go into this blind. I had a little help from a couple of YouTube videos, which I will link down below. One was Alpha M, and the other one was Clips for, the Tips for Clips. 
Uh, two great videos to be fair, shows you how to get like that nice little fade inside, then take a little bit of length of the top sort of thing, which don't get me wrong, feels horrendous doing because you just don't know. Um, but that's about it for the hair. I thought I'd use this time to get to know you guys a little bit more. I mean, I want to know if you guys have been enjoying the videos, you know, whether you've been using any of my tips sort of thing, whether they've helped you in whichever way. So, comment down below and let me know. And also, I want to know, kind of, get a gauge on where where you guys are from so comment let me know where, where you guys are from and what you do for work be interesting to find that out and obviously any video ideas anything you guys want to see let me know down below next week i will be uploading a video on passion seeking you know how to find your passion and some steps that i've taken in the past all, all the videos i do i do from experience on fitness advice and I'm talking fitness advice, personal growth, and what will be passion seeking. So, with that being said, I know I'm only a young lad, but I'd like to hope that I put myself in a few different situations where you know this this my content has relevance behind it, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, no, as I say, definitely comment down below and let me know where you're from, what you do for work, whether you've cut your hair any video ideas you guys may have for me and um, yeah no I mean I'm sure you guys know a lot about me it'd be nice to know a little bit about you you lot with that all being said YouTube itself is a skill I'm still learning so when I say like I say in videos in the past you've just got to start you you've got to make you know you got to take action because otherwise it's not gonna happen sort of thing I mean Tell you now, I, I still haven't got used to YouTube. It's very focused with the camera. Um, looking into the camera, obviously, it gets better at time. And one thing I do struggle with is vlogging because I don't really, I'm not the sort of guy who would go out and do that. But I definitely enjoy putting myself out there and um, facing that sort of fear of, of, of talking to the camera in public. I think it's a healthy thing to do. Um, but no, that's about that's about it guys. I will leave you to the haircut. Feel free as I say to leave a comment and have a quick chat with me. Let me know what you think of the haircut. I'll put a before and after on at the end of this clip so you guys have a little look. Make sure you stick around for the second part of the vid and with that being said, I'll leave you to it. Peace. So for the second part of this video, I want to talk a bit about risks. It ties in with the haircut. All things considered, I don't think the haircut is too bad. It was never going to be perfect. I would definitely consider cutting my own hair a risk. And that's what I want to focus on in the second part of this video. I want to talk about risks. And I want to talk about why you should take risks every now and then. Taking risks has all sorts of benefits. It forces you into a new mindset, which adds a bit of change in your life. It completely, depending on the size of the risk, takes you out of your comfort zone. And with that comes in the feeling of accomplishment. Once you've taken a risk, you get a, a, a sense of you get a sense of pride, a sense of accomplishment. It is natural instinct to want to stay in your comfort zone. The people who push themselves out of the comfort zone usually find themselves the most happy because they, because you're constantly forcing yourself to do new things and it develops a mindset that you are in, you know, you're living in the present because you'll be focused on making that risk pay off. I've got a few examples of risks that I have taken in my life and the categories they fall under. So one risk I've taken is buying a new camera for YouTube. It is a Canon 250D. 
If you want to have a little look at all the specs and that sort of thing, there's a link down below in the description with all my camera gear. This was a risk of failure because even though I still haven't, would you, you know, made it on YouTube, I'm not going to stop. And it's almost that investment you make into your risk that you've got to make it work, you know. If you're risking something, you want to work as hard as you can to make whatever you're risking work. And that risk of failure really urge just to keep going. Another risk I've taken is risking my savings on a new career. So as you guys know, I work in an office job at the moment. I spent most of my savings on a personal training course. I've always thought about doing personal training, but I never really decided to go ahead and do it until late last year. Doing that has made me start going to the gym a lot more. It's started making me focus on what I want to do within the industry and really knuckle down on nutrition nutrition training and health in general and that for me is enough even if the career doesn't work out the way I want it to I'm happy I know that my risk has paid off because I've learned so much from the fitness industry and, and, and what I want to do don't get me wrong I've still got a lot to learn you can never stop learning stuff this risk was a risk of a massive mistake for all I knew at the time it was definitely something I wanted to try out but spending my savings on it could have resulted in a massive mistake but I took that risk because I know that that risk was going to take me somewhere better than the situation I was in at the time. So another risk I've taken was cutting my own hair. Cutting my own hair was putting it all online. I've got to go on camera so if I had messed that up or whichever I wouldn't you know it would be on on the show like everyone would be able to see it don't be wrong it's not perfect but it's, you know it's all right so cut of my hair i was putting it all on the line if it hadn't paid off i might have been screwed but i took the risk and i did it i did a bit of research before it and i just got straight on with it i thought why the hell not it's only gonna grow back anyway because that's the thing with risks you gotta make sure you weigh up the advantages and disadvantages and if advantages outweigh the disadvantages then you might as well give it a go. It's very little that you're going to be less with the situation where you are really, really stuck. Like, no matter what situation you're in in life, you'll always be able to work your way out of whatever situation you are in. There's always a way around. And that's why taking risks should never be such a massive issue for some people. They can really change your life and add some structure, a goal, so to say, a purpose. Some of the best things that will happen to you in your life will be of a result from taking a risk. And as I say, at the start, you'll be focusing on the present. So you will be focused on right there and right then, not the past, not the future you'll be focused on the present, which is so important because being present allows you to live your life to the fullest, to enjoy every little moment. And so with that being said, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Tell me in the comments if you're cutting your own hair, whether it's a risk you're gonna take, and let me know what sort of risks you've taken in your life. I hope you enjoyed this video, it was a bit different. I'll see you in the next, peace.